I feel like mine is wrong already. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show us Tuesday. Try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Last week on Tasty Tuesday, it definitely worked. We made enchilada cupcakes for Steve's birthday. If you haven't seen that video, you should check it out after this video. I came up with that recipe and I was so excited because I came up with it, but also because it's such a good idea for how to present food. It's like built-in portion controls having your food in a cupcake form. So I thought, what other of my favorite foods could possibly be made into a cupcake? And I was like, yeah, 100% pizza I would like to be presented in a cupcake. 100%. So today I thought we'd try to make pizza cupcakes. Will it cupcake? That's a format that's popular right now on YouTube. Will it donut? Will it combo? Will it cupcake? Will pizza cupcake? I would like to know. Also, I thought we'd make our own pizza dough today because I've never done that before. Yay! Let's make this dish! Step one, we're gonna take all of our many rings off. For making our own pizza dough or any type of dough, we need to take our rings off. I've learned from you guys and also thank you for this cat-shaped ring holder. A human does not need that many rings on their body. Next, we're gonna make the pizza dough. How do we do this? I don't know, I've never made one. I'm gonna use the recipe from Hot For Food just cause I trust them. They make real good stuff. They can totally land pizza dough. To make the pizza dough, we're gonna take a small bowl. Hopefully this is small enough. Then we're gonna add a cup of warm water. Not too hot, not too cold. Goldilocks, motherfucker. Then we're gonna add a teaspoon of white sugar and a packet of dry yeast. This one is fast rise yeast. Hopefully it rises fast, like I've been led to believe. We're just gonna stir those two things together until they dissolve. It should bubble within five minutes. If it doesn't, then all of your yeast is dead and you have to get a new packet of live yeast. Hopefully there are no yeast tragedies in your kitchen today. After five minutes, our yeast mixture looks pretty good. It was like bubbling and foaming and like making a gross mess, and which means it's really good and alive. Next, we're gonna take a large mixing bowl and put three cups of flour in it. I'm using unbleached all-purpose flour, but you can use wheat as well or spelt. I looked for spelt. Belt. There was none in my grocery store. So I was like, oh well. <laughs> Three cups. And one teaspoon sea salt. We're gonna mix those two ingredients up and make a well. Yeah, make a well. I've never made my own pizza dough before. I feel like I'm on a school trip. You ever do that? On a school trip where you get to like visit a pizza store and then you get to see how they make pizza and you're like, whoa. Humans are amazing. And you're like, I wanna be a pizza man when I grow up. That's what I did. I for sure thought that. Okay, flour and salt is mixed. Well is being made. How deep does the well need to be? Like, do you hit pan with this well? Or do you like leave a little bit? We don't know. How deep is your well? So now we're gonna pour our yeast mixture into our well that we've created, along with a tablespoon of olive oil. How much olive oil? All of it. Then we're gonna mix with a wooden spoon and working our way to the edges. Like what Steve does to me all the time. Pushes me right to the edge, I tell ya. Once our dough is mostly combined, it kinda looks like like this. It's like not all the way there yet. Like you couldn't make a pizza out of it yet. We're gonna take a lightly floured surface, which this will be. See, lightly floured, huh? Great. And then we're gonna knead the rest by hand, like a total pizza man that knows what they're doing. I'm sorry, pizza person. I specifically wanted to be a pizza man when I grew up though. It's just like what Steve does to me. He needs me. Okay, you don't want you don't want to overwork this. It says you really only need to knead it a few times. I feel like. Mine is wrong already. That's also just how I feel every time I cook. It just it looks so crumbly. This is a lot of liquid right here on the spoon. Is this good? I don't know. It looks like it could be right. This looks like it could be potentially a pizza one day. So I'm gonna say yes. Then what we're gonna do is take a large clean bowl. One moment. One moment. One large clean bowl. And we're gonna grease it with olive oil. How much of the bowl should we grease? All of it. I'm all about reusing jokes this episode. That looks pretty greased. Ew. Okay, now we're gonna take our ball of dough and we're gonna put it in the bowl that we just greased. We're gonna cover it with saran wrap so that it could grow into a big old boy of dough for a girl. Now we're just gonna allow this to sit at room temperature away from any outside air for, it says one to two hours, but since this is fast active yeast, I'm hoping for like 30 minutes. So we'll check back in 30 minutes and I allow you. See you soon. Hello, it's been about an hour now. Now, and we're gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Done. Next, we're gonna spray a cupcake pan with olive oil or whatever oil. How much of the pan should you spray? <laughs> 
all of it. Cool, now we're gonna set that aside. At this point, our dough should be fairly risen. Oh shoot, that pizza dough. I feel like it could rise more if we waited a little longer, but I'm very impatient and I have places to be, so we're gonna just do this now. We're gonna take our dough and say, hello, did you miss me? I'm gonna cut it in half to make this easier. And then on a lightly floured surface, I'm gonna roll out my dough. Did you know? Once our dough is rolled out, if you have like a big circular cookie cutter, good for you, you can use that. If you don't, you're gonna have to make a circle by hand. That's just life. Some of us have big circle cookie cutters and some of us have to work harder. They don't have to be perfect circles either, you know, if you don't have one, because they're just gonna get remolded. So this can be real sloppy. Okay, then we're gonna take our little circles, and we're gonna mold them into our cupcake tin things. Okay, so this is my first time doing this. This is a too big of a circle. We're gonna cut a smaller circle. Yeah, better. So it's like a four inch circle. Three, four inch circle. We're just gonna kinda mold this into the cupcake tin. Just so it looks like you kind of knew what you were doing. Like, like you kind of had a plan. This seems like a lot of work, but pizza cupcakes! So cute! It's gonna be worth it. There was kind of a learning curve when it came to filling these cups, and if I had to guess, I'd say that these smaller, thinner ones will probably cook better than these like fat, puffy dough boys. But you know, love your body, pizza cupcake. I'm rooting for you. Next, we're gonna take our pizza sauce. I couldn't find the regular pizza sauce that I normally use in every single pizza recipe, which is the Mira Glen pizza sauce. They don't sell at my store anymore. So I got this Reserva, Reserva. I don't know. It's a marinara sauce. I bought it because it just had really simple ingredients, tomatoes, extra virgin olive oil, garlic, spices, and sea salt. But you can make your own if you're really fancy schmance. We're gonna put about a tablespoon of sauce into each little one of our cups. Pizza cupcakes, I want you in my body. You're taking so long. Then we're gonna sprinkle some mozzarella cheese. I'm using Daya, but you can use whatever you want. Then you're gonna add some of your toppings. If you turned on this video and you did not think that pineapple and mushroom were gonna go into this pizza-related food item, I feel bad for you. Also, if you are not putting pineapple and mushroom in your pizza-related food item, I feel really bad for you, because that's sad. That's really sad. That's so sad. Do whatever you want. It's your sad life. These are gonna be like the sprinkles of our freaking cupcakes. Cute. I chopped them up all small and tiny so they could fit. Cause you know, there isn't much room. After our toppings are put in there, we're gonna add another little spoonful of marinara sauce or pizza sauce or whatever sauce you like. Maybe you like Alfredo. I don't know your life. And then just a little bit more cheese on the top. And maybe just a little bit more pineapple just to really piss everyone off. Beautiful! Now we're gonna pop them in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes and hopefully they cook. I'm gonna say that I don't have that much faith in this one cooking. It's pretty thick. It's. I love you. I, I'm rooting for you. All right, 10 to 12 minutes. Get in there. Do it. Make me food that I can eat and consume into my stomach. See you in 12. Okay, we're back. I kept them in there for 15 minutes instead of 12 minutes because midway through I started thinking about how when I normally make pizza, I make it on this like air rated pan. It has like holes in it and this one does it. So I'm hoping that the dough cooked through all the way. That is the hope. They look delicious. They smell delicious and they look delicious. Uh, they are hardened. Okay, good. They're really hot. Oh my gosh. Stuff that comes out of the oven is gonna be hot. Warning for those of you who have never been in a house ever. Look at them. I wish I could have my other glove. Look at them. So pretty. Pizza cupcakes. Dude, everything, every food should be in cupcake form. I've decided as a rule, a general rule of thumb, put your food into a cupcake. It's the best and only way. So I was a little worried that they weren't cooked through because the color is really light, but these seem pretty hardened, so we might be in luck. Even this big old fat boy. I'm sorry for not having faith in you. Look at, look at, oh, oh, you just pick it up right out of the pan. I mean, it's hot, but I mean, don't do that. Maybe cool, let them cool a little bit, but that's so cool. No longer do you have to worry about slicing pizza. It's very hard to slice. I don't know if you've ever made your own pizza, but it's like difficult to get a slice and cut through the dough, but now, just like that, fam. And actually, that big guy is easier to take out than the small ones, which I thought were better. It just proves that you know nothing in life. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Look at them up close. Ugh, ugh, could you just die? Look at this, don't die. Look at this instead. What? Oh my God, it is a pizza cupcake. <laughs> 
Now in hindsight, I wish I would have made them all fat boys. You see that? You just have a little faith in yourself and you, you're better than everyone else. That's not a good message. I don't know, let's see if these are tasty. All right, we got some pineapple mushroom pizza cupcakes. You would. <laughs> oh, damn. How's that? That's really damn good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Hells yeah, I made the pizza dough. It's really good. With my hands. Did you really? Yeah. It's pretty awesome, actually. What a, what a cool idea. These smell so good, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's really good, yo. Mmm, dude. Right? Yes, this is the only way I'm eating pizza from now on. Yeah, it's pretty up there. It's like a calzona. It's like a calzona, but tinier and also more open, so you're not eating like an entire pocket. Exactly. You're eating a half a pocket. It's like a pizza pocket, but it's open. It's like a pizza bagel, but like, but it folds up on the sides. It's like a pizza like business pocket. It's like a, a pizza that you decided to squish in your fist. It's like a pizza muffin. It looks like pizza baklava. Dude, this is so good. It's tasty. It's hella tasty. Good job. Also, do you want to say something to me? Holy shit. Shit. Real quick, because, um... <sighs> happy birthday. Thank you. It, happy <clears throat> birthday month. It's still your birthday month. Well, today is actually literally my birthday. Today is literally your birthday, but so even though we I celebrated it last that. week on Tasty Tuesday. Yeah, but I know, but, I, but now, right, right now is my birthday, and I just thought that you would have said that by now, but I appreciate mm -hmm. it. I made you a pizza muffin. I know. And I made you a pizza cupcake. It just doesn't... <sighs> Never mind. This is not good for your birthday? No, it's fine. Like, it's not my favorite topping, so it's fine. But it's fine. Just doesn't. I fuck no, up. No, you did your I just. I got you a card. I made you a party. It just doesn't feel like it's my birthday. What do you? You know, it just doesn't. I mean, look, I look around, I don't see any balloons or anything. It just doesn't feel like it's my you birthday. You don't want balloons. Yeah, but I said it, but I did want balloons. Yeah, no, you didn't. Okay, well, anyway, um, I'm gonna talk to Steve and tell him happy birthday a bunch of times. Um, subscribe so you don't miss any of this, and I'll see you next week. This was so good. Next you week, need to make this. Next week it won't be my birthday. Yeah. Probably will next feel week exactly, it won't. Probably will feel exactly the same way that it feels right now. Yep. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. Steve, you wanna say anything else? New number birthday related? Maybe pizza <clears throat> cupcake related? Can I make a birthday wish? No. Hey, just a reminder, today is the last day to get one of these shirts if you want one. I'm also doing a contest right now. I'll explain the details and the rules of that at the end of this vlog. If you haven't seen it, you should see it, go watch it. Basically, get a shirt, tag me in it on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, and I'll be picking a winner in the next three weeks. That's all. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this, and I'll see you next time. Bye.